I don't need to tell you there are a lot of all-in-one AI platforms popping up. Some of them are great and some of them are just not. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the great ones. But before we do, I did want to say that generally when I'm looking at these all-in-one platforms, what I'm really evaluating is what makes them unique. Does it provide value to all of us? And what does it do that nothing else does? So when Freepick reached out to me to see if I wanted to do a platform tour, well, it was kind of a no-brainer because I actually use Freepick. And yes, getting this out of the way, I did partner with Freepick for this video, but this is not a hard sell. As always, I'm shooting straight here and I think they have a lot to offer whether you are an AI season pro or just getting started. Speaking of just getting started. So in case you weren't aware, the heart of Freepik is a suite of AI generation tools ranging from image generation to video generation. Although as we'll see, there is a lot more in here as well. Starting off on the image side of things, we of course have our prompt bar up here and then uh, a number of different models that we can generate in. We can generate in Mystic, which is Freepik's own model. Again, that is something that separates them from a lot of the other all-in-one platforms. Google's ImageN3 has also been added. I just talked about this in our last video. Uh, ImageN3 pretty much is the model with the best prompt coherence available right now. And we can also generate in Flux, and we are able to very easily train up a model in Flux as well. So in particular, if you've been locked into, say, like mid-journey and you've been looking to explore outside of those walls, uh, I think Freepik is a great place to start. So kicking off with a bit of a model shootout, uh, the prompt here is an atmospheric photograph of a dark haired woman, uh, slightly crouched in an abandoned fog shrouded 80s shopping mall. Um, this was the flux output, and I think it did a pretty solid job here. Uh, it caught the black bomber jacket in the prompt, uh, as well as the vintage arcade cabinets in the background. Uh, now let's move over to the Mystic 2.5 model. Once again, really great prompt coherence here. Uh, again, we get our distressed jeans as called out in the prompt, uh, crack tiling on the floors, and it actually got the red velvet couch in as well, uh, something that the Flux 1.1 output did not get. And rounding out, we have our ImageN3 output, which once again, catches everything from the prompt that we asked for. The bomber jacket, the distressed jeans, uh, cracked floor, red velvet couch over here, and the arcade machines in the background. Uh, I do know it, it is interesting in terms of the color saturation, I guess overall tone and mood uh, between the Mystic 2.5 and the ImageN3 outputs. Uh, that said, Freepik does have a whole set of tools over here uh, in which you can change the exposure, the brightness, um, contrast, highlights, shadows, et cetera, et cetera, uh, swap around some colors. And then there are also a number of presets down here that you can experiment and play around with as well. It's basically like having a little mini version of Adobe's Lightroom built into the platform. So that's pretty handy. Now, one of the newest and to me most exciting new features in Freepik is the fact that if we come over to upscale, uh, we can now upscale in Magnific. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a pretty big fan of Magnific. It was one of the first, if not the first of the creative upscalers. So if you've ever wanted to try out Magnific, well, you can do so now on Freepik. Uh, very quick, basic tutorial on Magnific. You have a number of different presets here, subtle, vivid, wild, and custom. Let's go with wild, because why not? Um, and then you can actually optimize for you know various different styles. Uh, we're going to stick with film photography here. Uh, the scale factor is the upscale factor. We're just going to leave that on 2x for the time being. And then you still do have slider control over your creativity, HDR resemblance, and fractility. Um, I'm going to take the, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this all up. Um, from here, we're just going to fire it off and see what we get. And as we can see here, after Magnific does its thing, yeah, it just adds a ton of like detail and texture, just kind of makes the whole thing pop a little bit more. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I do also notice the weird face that it put up here. Uh, that is something that ends up happening when, you know, we, we crank the creativity too high. Uh, that said, free picks got you covered. So if we come up to our retouch button here, uh, we basically now move into editor mode. So uh, at this point now we can zap that face out. Oh, I just noticed there's another one uh, over there, another like kind of ghost robot woman. Uh, so we're going to zap both of them out just by uh, just all we have to do is kind of brush over them. Um, and then this one as well. And for a prompt, I'm just gonna put arcade game, no person. Uh, there's also an erase 
toggle up here. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it on replace. Uh, we're gonna hit retouch and see what happens. And there you go, no more weird ghost head in the background. In the interest of fairness, because we did go a little bit nuts with the creativity there uh, on that last image, this is our uh, Mystic 2.5 output. And then running that with a subtle uh, Magnific upscale, we get this. So um, let me really zoom in there um, so that you can tell the difference. Yeah, that's, I mean, Magnific is so good at just adding in just that little bit of extra sauce on top of your AI generated images that really kind of uh, bake everything together and make it, you know, give it that final touch. We also, of course, have options to do outpainting in case you need to change your aspect ratio. Uh, so let's take this from a 4.3 image and maybe take it over to a 2.1 image. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the prompt blank and see what we get. And there you go, solid. We now have a 2.1 output. Um, you can, of course, change this to uh, you know 9.16, 16.9, any of the various standard aspect ratios. Uh, and again, once again, to note, like if you don't like anything that's happening in the expansions here, you can either prompt out of that that, or you know to head back over to the editor and in paint it out the other thing that i really like is that in within each of the models there are a number of style presets as well that you can choose from um so yeah in mystic 2.5 like a ton of them with comic dark uh nature ink print uh, i'm not sure how the astronaut is nature but uh whatever um yeah analog memories uh you know on and on it goes so uh checking in with our cyberpunk woman with long white hair we haven't seen her in kind of a while and then using the comic preset uh let's generate some stuff up and see what we get yeah that's definitely comic worthy i do like the fact that the mystic model tends to vary up the camera angles a little bit more like when we run this prompt a lot of times we see you know uh, our cyberpunk woman looking dead straight ahead uh you know clearly we're getting a bit of a dutch angle on this and a little more more of a dynamic action pose here. And just to give you an idea of how much fun it is to explore with these different styles, running the exact same prompt, but using the surrealist fashion preset uh, gives us this, which remarkably different from what our last output looked like, but uh, I think actually look kind of cool. Very much reminds me of like, I don't know, like 70s Italian, like surrealist sci-fi. Like, I don't know what movie this is, but if I walk past the screen and this is on, I I'm definitely gonna check it out. Out. Two quick things I wanted to go over before we hop over to video. Uh, for one, you can actually train your own style as well. Um, so provide it with a number of image references and it will essentially create your own personalized style. The other, of course, being that you can generate your own character up as well. Uh, there are a number of kind of like preset characters here. And of course I did, you know, train yet another model on me. Yeah, I just uploaded a number of photos of me, named myself at Tim. And uh, yeah, we have yet another model of me out out there. I swear when like the whole like, you know, AI super intelligence takes over and AGI arrives, it's it's going to end up looking like me. I'm trained everywhere. So all we have to do to use one of our trained characters is come down to the character tab here uh, and then, you know, click in. Alternatively, if it's in your library, we can just hit at and well, there I am right, right at the top and I can put myself into any scenario I want. Overall, I think it does a pretty good job with the trained models. Uh, here is me clearly waking up after a very long night. An AI generated photo of me taken on that very long night. I don't even, I don't even remember this i don't even know whose chain that is and finally an ai generated photo of me trying to piece the night together walking it off at the beach sliding over to the video side of things and i know a lot of you have been waiting for this uh yeah free pick represents pretty hard uh, we have access to all of the majors including minimax cling runway um luma's dream machine down here and you know some others like hunyan uh which i actually have not gotten a chance to play with very much and pixiverse as well uh as well as kind of like offshoots like minimax's live illustrations and Minimax reference. We even do have Luma's Ray 2 model down here as well. Now, a question that I do get asked a lot on the channel is like, what's the best video model? And I know it sounds like a cop out when I say, well, they're all great, but really what I'm saying is that they all have things that they're really good at and they all have things that they're not so good at. And that middle ground, which is pretty wide, very much depends on what you're trying to get out of them. Um, so something like Free Pick, where you can essentially try out a number of different models here. I mean, I think that this is a great solution. For example, returning back to our illustrated image of our cyberpunk woman with long white hair and running her in the Minimax live illustration model, uh, we get this as an output, which, I mean, that looks pretty great. 
running that same thing in Kling 1.6 gets us this as an output, which also looks pretty great. And sure, while there are differences between the two of them, I think that a lot of this really comes down to which one you prefer. The other great thing is it gives you a chance to play around with the pro modes on various models as well. For example, this is Kling 1.6 Pro running at 10 seconds. Um, and you would not be able to generate this on Kling unless you were part of the pro like subscription plan. Within each model, you of course have the ability to you know, add an, a reference image. Uh, what's kind of cool here is that um, they do have the thing where it'll auto prompt for you afterwards based off of that image. Um, and then under effects, um, they, you can call out a number of different shots as well. As a note, not all of the models obviously do first and end frame. So uh, that will only apply to the models that obviously have that functionality. The other cool thing that FreePick has is, uh, this was a generation that I did in, I actually did this in Minimax. Uh, this was a text to video uh, output. Um, but as you can notice, um, there actually is an apply sound effects here as well. So we can, you know, put a prompt in for sound effects and after running it, Yeah, sound effects, kind of cool. Uh, you also have the ability to lip sync right on platform as well. So taking this shot, I've run this prompt a few times on the channel recently. This is like an undercover informant uh, talking to like a detective in an alley. I think I need to watch The Departed again soon. I think that's where this is all coming from. If you come up to this lip sync tab here, um, yeah, you can generate either, you can actually you know input your own audio if you want to, or you can generate from any one of these characters as well. Obviously preview them, etc. So we uh, just kind of testing this out. We went with Jake Morrison. He's English American uh, and specialized in storytelling and audiobooks. I haven't seen a man in a blue suit. Yeah, there you go. He's definitely not winning an Oscar for that. But you know, I do tend to think that the best results in this kind of situation is when you can record an actor and then upload that as the reference audio. But again, I just wanted to illustrate this does definitely work. So, you know, given all of that, the, you know, the image generation, the upscaling, the editing, and all of our video components, plus lip syncing and sound effects, uh, I do want to point out that that's just the AI side of FreePick. They've also got a whole section on design if you need to do like print stuff, a whole section on vectors for you illustration and illustrator folks, plus a whole template section ranging from, you know, posters, business cards, uh, logo makers, flyer maker, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, no, th there's a lot here. All in all, I do honestly believe that free pick for sure deserves a spot in your bookmarks folder uh, as the name implies there is a free tier yeah of course there are paid tiers as well on the free side you can generate up to 20 ai images per day uh, you can upscale two images per day from there prices range from nine dollars a month to 39 dollars a month obviously you get more credits and more features open up to you if you go annually uh, as of right now at least it's 40 percent off so then you're looking at the highest plan of uh, $24.50 a month. And that is really not that bad. Come to think of it, that's actually less than Mid Journey's mid tier plan. So, uh, yeah, uh, Free Pick, pretty good deal when you put it that way. So, yeah, if you've never been to Free Pick or, you know, you haven't been there in a while, I mean, yeah, head over and, you know, get your, get your free image generations in at the very least. At the end of the day, very curious to know your thoughts on Free Pick. So, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and also, you know, let me know what you would like to see on Free Pick. Uh, that is something that definitely happens when I do these types of videos. The eyes of the industry, they come in and they read your comments. So if you have something that you have been itching to see on Free Pick, let us know down in the comments. In the meantime, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.